Many characterize the era we now live in as the Anthropocene, an era centered around humans, fueled by man's sense of superiority to all non-human nature, a worldview that addresses nature and culture as opposing forces, identifying entities as either natural or artificial, wild or tame, leaving little or no room for intersection. This process of differentiation exemplifies the dichotomy of nature versus culture. What I will show you is that this division is unnecessary, and that humans are not so separate from nature after all. To help you understand the triviality of this division, we will take a look at a product used by millions of women every day. Meet Aless Birth Control. Each Aless birth control pill contains 20 micrograms of ethanol estradiol called EE2. EE2 is a synthetic form of the naturally occurring estrogen in female bodies. When a woman takes a less birth control, a small excess of EE2 is excreted through urination and defecation. Water filtration plants in Ontario do not have the capacity to extract EE2 out of the sewage water. EE2 is therefore injected into the lake water systems and is slowly enacting violence on the fish populations. This transfer among bodies is called transcorporeality. Transcorporeality diminishes the barrier between nature and culture and connects those who take the pill to those affected. Fish populations that are exposed to E2 have an influx of estrogen into their bodies, resulting in the feminization of male fish, an occurrence of intersex fish, and reduced fertility in female fish. This starts a chain reaction, resulting in an increased number of bottom feeders, fewer predators, this is not only an instance of environmental injustice on the species affected, it is also a crime of injustice to the aquatic ecosystem as a whole. This goes to show that culture cannot be separated from nature. It is up to us to understand the transcorporeality of our own bodies and the bodies of others. We are all connected, humans and non-humans alike. We are all, in fact, the water.